Mineral reserves have been a source of instability in the DRC, DRC NGOs during the Mineral Resources and Hydrocarbons Week in Kinshasa held between November-December 9, 40 NGOs are stepping up the fight against the plundering of DRC's vast mineral deposits, explicitly targeting China and Russia as threats to Congo's people interests. The NGOs are under the Civil Society Action Group for the Protection, Monitoring and Citizen Control of Natural Resources in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In a letter addressed to Secretary Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, the coalition appealed for tough support from the U.S. to counter what they consider the takeover of the country's vast mineral resources deposits by China and Russia, both labeled evil actors in the letter seen by Bird Story Agency. The letter is dated December 16, 2022, only two weeks after the coalition convened a Mineral Resources and Hydrocarbons Week in Kinshasa and only two days day after President Felix Chisikedi met with his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden at the White House alongside other African leaders. The letter was co-signed by 40 civil society personalities representing their respective organization. Mineral reserves have been a source of instability in the DRC. With more than 2 million square kilometers, DRC is the largest country in sub-Saharan Africa and is endowed with exceptional natural resources, vast deposits of most of the most sought after minerals including gold, copper, cobalt, diamond, etc. DRC also has significant arable land, immense biodiversity, and the world's second-largest rainforest. Large portion of Congo's mineral resources deposit is located in the eastern part of the country. Unfortunately, DRC population has not benefited their country's vast wealth.